It is Mari from Namaste Mari, and it is Monday morning rambles. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know it's really Sunday because this is what I wore to do laundry. Last week, I found it so much easier to like get this up before um, noon. So I decided, like, why not try to do it again this weekend? Like, it's so much easier. Like, I try to always have this up before lunchtime because it is called Monday morning rambles. So I might keep this up we'll see but i um, hope you guys are having an awesome day and an awesome weekend i am having a good time like there's nothing out of the ordinary happening in my life right now but it just just i'm in a good mood and i'm just gonna keep writing that way for as long as i can um today i want to talk about a book that i'm reading i have been working at the gym for like what eight months and we've had three different managers and they all are awesome and they're all great and they all happen to bring something different to the table and my new manager her name is gwen she decided that we should start a book club love that idea because you guys know that i wake up every morning and try to read at least 15 to 20 minutes before i start my day but anyways the book she's having us read is called the positive dog by john gordon i got it on my kindle it cost me I think like eight dollars and paperback they think it's like nine small book easy read it's about so simple it's about two dogs who are living in a shelter one his name is matt and he's like a i want to say a debbie downer and then there's bubba who's like this happy go lucky positive dog and bubba finds it like his mission to try to change Matt's outlook on life and that's what the book is about basically changing our perspective changing how we view things and there was one thing that really caught my attention it was um we always our words like mean so much because when we say something we're putting it out there like remember when I was doing the intensity class and you would work out but you would say affirmations as you said it as you did your emotions whatever so this book mentioned something similar it's saying like instead of saying things like i have to go to work or i have to do laundry or i have to pay my rent like say i get to go to work because we should be you know lucky and grateful that we have a job or i get to do laundry because we sh again should be giving gratitude for the fact that we have clothes over our back and also just little things in life like we be fine to complain about like i have to pay rent oh my rent's so expensive hey you have a roof over your head and you're lucky enough that you have money to pay that rent so those little things and this weekend I took that perspective into mind like I usually don't really work on at the gym on Saturdays like I have my other things going on but this weekend I went in because I had a new client and yes I was like I have to go to work but then I remembered the book and I was like oh I get to go to work today and honestly it was such a good day at work hung out with some of my co-workers um, made a lot of like sales which was great and it was just a good time. Like one of my coworkers, her name is Angie. She's the one who followed me on Instagram. She got me the protein bars for my birthday. And like we get along really well, and but we never really get to work together because she's usually in the afternoon, evening time and I'm an early bird. But Saturday we worked together like all morning. We went to grab coffee. It was just a good day. And maybe it was because I said I get to go to work. Maybe it was because I was changing my perspective or maybe it was just a good day, but I don't give a shit. It was just a good day and I just went with it and I'm enjoying this book. I said, little book, easy read. There was one excerpt that I want to share. I put a highlight on it. Um, where is it, where is it? Oh, here we go. It says, I'm gonna sort of read like one or two sentences. It says, how we perceive people, events, and situations determines our reality. That's why I often say that we don't live our lives based on reality, nope. We live our lives based on our perception and perception of reality. So how you identify with reality for some person reality could be it's raining oh, i hate that it's raining and it's for someone else it's raining oh my god i love that it's raining it's a great day to stay home and be cozy so it's how we perceive things that's important so yeah that's a lot of rambling for you guys right well that's it i guess i just wanted to share this if you are looking for a good book to read i totally recommend it i'll tell you the name again it is called the positive dog by John Gordon, let's make sure it's John Gordon. Yeah, I believe, yeah, John Gordon, J O N, not J O H N. John Gordon, Positive Dog, eight bucks like on Kindle, nine bucks paperback. Totally good read. All right, I'm gonna go as always, my loves. Have an awesome day and namaste.